Hey, what's up? I'm Yuzalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I want to show you how to fake reflections in your sunglasses using Adobe After Effects. Here is a preview. <laughs> Alright, so that looks pretty cool, it's really simple to do, let's jump into the movie After Effects. and today I will be showing you how to get the fake reflections in your sunglasses using Adobe After Effects. So I have prepared some files that you can use as well so you can follow along with this tutorial using the exact same footage. So right here I have myself with my sunglasses on and then right here I have some footage that I would like to uh, put in those sunglasses. So right here we have this explosion. Um, I had a little mistake here because of the overexposure but you can just cut that off and of course this uh, composition isn't really well done but as it's so small it doesn't really matter for these sunglasses so um, this has been made with one of our explosions from the explosion pack that we are going to be releasing very soon so if you're uh, looking for explosions uh, in your shots you can use these kinds of explosions um, once uh, once the explosion pack is actually released I'll put a link in the description so um, yeah, of course, this explosion is actually also too small in comparison, but I've put this together so quickly that you shouldn't be uh, looking at the final quality right here. It's just a reflection for the sunglass. Okay, so with that being said, let's drag our sunglass footage into our new composition here. So here I have my footage. All right. And I'm going to set my resolution here to full so we can actually see our sunglasses as good as possible. And then it's up to us to actually go and zoom in. You can actually see the tripod right here. I'm going to right click new and I'm going to create a new solid layer. I'm going to rename this to right eye and click OK. Once you have done that, toggle off the eye here so you don't see the solid anymore, but keep it selected as so and go to your pen tool. Zoom in on the right eye right here and let's start drawing around the sunglasses. So basically what we want to do is rotoscope out the sunglasses right here. So you can go ahead and track everything. Um, but this kind of shot is really hard to track as um, yeah, you have a lot of reflections going on in the sunglasses and it's also going to mess up my shot and also the rotation. Um, yeah, I've tried to do some tracking tests, um, but rotoscoping seemed to be um, the best solution right here. So I'm going to mask, well, as perfectly as I can within the border here of my sunglasses, like so. And then continue our mask. Just make sure that your first mask is, pe yeah, is as perfect as it can get. Once you've done that, uh, it will be easier to move from there. So there we have it. This seems about right. And okay, there we go. Press M on the keyboard once you have done your mask and click on the stopwatch for the mask path. Hold shift and press the page down key on your keyboard to move 10 frames forward and then just move your mask with it. You can also dive in, double click on the mask, rotate it like so, um, even scale it down a little bit if you want to uh, here in the corners. Uh, just try to make and match it perfectly. The more time you're going to spend to make it perfect, the better it will look. Of course, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect as, uh, yeah, there, there's going to be movement, there's going to be a feather applied to it as well. So uh, there are many tricks to, to make your shot look right. Okay, so again, 10 frames forward, double click on it, remove it, and yeah, just do that uh, until you're at the end of your uh, timeline here. And then all the way at the end, make sure you have your last keyframe perfect as well. And once you've done all these uh, intermediate 10 frames, you can go in between these 10 frames and also uh, fix these little fixes right here. So just reposition this, but this is going to take less time. Um, well, it should take less time here. So there we go. Okay, so once you're done, check on your solid again and now you'll see something like this. So we replaced it with a black solid layer here. So you can dive in and really go frame by frame, but I don't really think that's necessary. What you can do then is press F on the keyboard or actually press M twice on the keyboard to reveal all the settings of the mask. And right here, I want to change my feather to maybe something like 10. And then I want to change my mask expansion to something like minus five. Okay, so there we go. Maybe change a 10 to a five and this to a point two and a half and there we go so now we have 
this kind of shot and actually I want to make it a little bit smaller even. Okay, so this seems about right and now you shouldn't see any mistakes anymore. Okay, so this is great, we have our right eye done and now we want to import our explosion footage right below that solid layer. I'm going to actually offset it just a bit so we don't have that overexposed area anymore right here and press S on the keyboard and just lower that like quite a lot. So we want to drag it in here and just make sure it covers this area right here. So you can make it a little bit bigger if you want. And then what you want to do is make sure you see track mat right here. If you don't see that, toggle the switches. We want to change that. Make sure that this is below the layer that we just created with the right eye here and change this to an alpha mat. So now you're going to make this shot visible uh, yeah, using the alpha of uh, this channel right here, so of this layer. So if we're going to check this, uh, we already have our reflections, but of course we need to match them a little bit to uh, these reflections right here. So what you can do is click on your explosion footage and go to effect and color correction exposure and just lower the exposure right here. You can also go to effects color correction and add a little bit of contrast right here because um, I, I see that we need to add a little bit of contrast in the greens uh, as you can see here. And actually this is matching up quite good. I'm going to lower the blacks even more and there we go. Uh, also the highlights can be a little bit less or actually we want to keep them just on that point. And there we go. Mm, this seems about right. What you can also do is just click on this layer and duplicate it and make it visible right here. Press T on the keyboard and change this to something like 25 if you want to. And, but then you can uh, increase your exposure a little bit again. And there we go. So now it's actually looking pretty realistic already. Okay, so looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to move my explosion footage a little bit more over here so we can actually see that kind of explosion. And now what you can basically do is do the same thing for the uh, left, well, yeah, the left eye here. So right click new solid layer, left eye. And I'm just going to do the first part because it's going to basically be the same thing. Uh, I'm just going to mask out this shot so I can actually show you how to finish it off. All right, toggle this on, press F on the keyboard or actually open up the preferences here for the mask three and minus point one. Uh, 1.5 I mean and then we're going to toggle well toggle this down and duplicate our explosion footage put it below here and it's also going to automatically change it to an alpha just make sure that this is on uh, and toggled right here and now we actually want to offset our explosion footage well uh, if you go to your selection tool we want to offset it uh, so it actually looks like we're actually seeing this in 3d uh, so actually you will see your reflections twice in your sunglasses something like this and of course, because we didn't animate our mask, uh, we're not going to see the animation. But if we're going to look at our original uh, sunglasses, you're going to see the tripod twice here in this shot. So uh, just try to match up um, your explosion to that um, tripod. So maybe right here and then right here. And this should match up pretty good. And this is basically how to do it. So you can duplicate the left eye right here as well. Press T on the keyboard and 25 and there we go. So this is going to be basically the same thing on both sides here. And yeah, there we go. So we have some reflections in our sunglasses. Okay, so to finalize it, you can go new and add a new adjustment layer. You can use the wiggle expression that you can download on our website. We have the wiggle preset. Working on the wiggle preset V2, I know I've been saying that for a while now, but I wanna make it a little bit better than it currently is and I didn't find a time for it yet. Uh, you can apply that right here and just increase that to like seven, uh, 107. Well, actually I'm selecting everything. Seven, 100, seven, and let's say four. Let's create keyframes all the way till the end and just zero this out. Or actually set this to one, one, 10 and one. Now we're going to get that and uh, that kind of shake on the screen like there is actually an explosion. This is going to sell the effect a little bit more even and you can go new layer and adjustment layer and you can apply a color lit. So apply color lit, apply this to your adjustment layer. I'm going to be using one of our own lids right here, which you can buy on our website. And there we go, press T on the keyboard and just lower it because it's a little bit too intense. This is going to make my shot a little bit warmer. I'm actually going to try a different one here. Apocalypse also seems pretty cool.
Okay, there we go. So uh, applied a color lid and there we go. So now we have our shot and it looks pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more and definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer if you're a filmmaker or a motion graphics artist. We have assets, presets and stuff like that. So definitely check it out. Links will be put in the description and then I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.